Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to Let's Play Kirby. I mean, uh, Full Metal Alchemist and the Broken Angel. Uh, sorry. Um, all right. New game. I've already played this game through this game. I like it. All right. <sighs> Gotta spend a while with this. Man gains nothing without sacrifice. To gain something of equal price, must be paid. This is an equivalent to law, uh, Alchemy's Law of Equivalent Exchange. Edward Ulrich. Oh, damn, wow, we actually said that. And then Alpha and Zero will come soon. Alright. A young prodigy who became a state alchemist at the age of 12. He is now 15 years old. His alias, Full Metal, derives from the fact that his right arm and left leg are metallic artificial limbs known as auto male. It's pretty descriptive. I don't have much else to say. And those Alphonse. Alphonse Elric. Edward's younger brother. Inside the giant suit of armor is a 14 year old boy with a gentler heart. Gentle heart. Well, gentler also. Only his soul occupies the suit of armor. He is no longer has a physical body. <coughs> In their youth, Elric, the Elric brothers attempted to revive their death. Uh, deceased mother through alchemy. The results were tragic. Well, that was the result. As a price for attempting the forbidden act of human transportation, Ed lost his um, leg. Al lost his entire body. Then Ed used his arm to get Al back. Ed sacrificed his right arm and successfully in and succeeded in transmuting Al's soul, binding it to a nearby suit of armor. But their mother never came back, and the price they paid for was too great. Yeah, they failed. <clears throat> In order to regain their bodies and return all its, uh, to its previous state, the Elric brothers started on the journey to find the legendary Philosopher's Stone. Well, the Philosopher's Stone will let them do that because you don't need to worry about quibble exchange when you're having the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, um, now that that cutscene's done, actually I'll probably wait till this next cutscene's done. Yeah, they have anime cutscenes in this. I like that. Anyone remember the bald scenario? Well, this is effectively that. Wow, this is actually recording nice. I hope the volume's high enough. Central yet watching those boring trees go by makes me want to strangle something. Hey, <laughs> you've been bored ever since we reached Reservoir, Ed. Man, I think it's nice to take a break from going after the philosophers, don't you? A break? I'm going to break something if this turn out doesn't end soon. Aw, oh, nice temper tantrum. Here we go again. And I'm strong. Oh, what a disgrace. You have no patience, Edward Elric. Once we reach the junction at uh, Hasker and Central, it's a stone thrown away. Huh? His heart? So we're near that old place? Brings back memories, huh? Uh, yeah, now that you mention it. Oh, so you two have been to his heart before, eh? Excited Canadian, eh? Yes, our master had brought us there just once a few years ago. I think we'd uh, gone to see this guy named Wilhelm. He was quite an alchemist, just like our master. I am remembering it now, the professor had a daughter named Celine, and she was an alchemist too. She was as old as us, but her skills were like a grown-up. <coughs> oh, is that so? A genius girl alchemist, eh? A genius, yeah, but cold-hearted. I mean, we were so nice to her the whole time we were there. But when it became kind of us to go back to Doublelift, she didn't even come out to send us off. Oh, yeah, huh. Well, she probably wasn't feeling well enough to. Or maybe it just hurt too much to say goodbye to you strapping young lads. Sure. I wonder if she's still studying. I bet she'll be a great alchemist by now. And Terrace. What was that? An explosion? Yes, yeah, that was an explosion. Eastern Revolution Front. We have assumed control of this 
Western Revolution shirt. Sounds like a bunch of names cut and pasted together. <laughs> uh, I'll bet it's another new radical group. Jeez, what is this world coming to? And we get a play soon. Five minutes in and we get to start to play soon. Aren't you going to do something? Uh, why do I have to? <laughs> Watch that in HD. Alright, you. What the? Who are you, freaks? You heard the announcement, didn't you? This train's now under the control of the Eastern Liberation Federation. I guess they've changed their name since the announcement. <laughs> I just can't take this anymore. Hey, wait, weren't we just in a situation like this? Yeah, we were. Someone must have put a curse on us. Hey, you yeah. and Arthur and Shorty. Talking about Vault. I gave you permission to chat. Just shut up and fork over the valuable. This is perfect. Okay, you, take the goods from the muscle man in the armor, then get your butt over here, Shorty. Who are you calling Shorty? <laughs> you, of course. Who the heck else is there, you Shorty? And... He, so, yeah, he snapped. He talks about the Guinness Book. Yep, he has alchemy too. Yeah, that wasn't aggressive either. Breaking all those seats. Just who are these people anyway? I'm telling you, it's a curse. Or maybe they want to share autograph. What? Who? Hey, what's going on in here? Huh? I'm assuming he got punched. He's a fan of yours. Very funny. All right, Major. You go check out the cars in the back and find out what that explosion was. Don't worry about it. I'm already on it. No, he isn't. Looks like we've got alchemists among us. So everybody watch your backs, okay? Mm, I know it too well. Mm. gameplay starts, or at least tutorial. Okay, uh, let's do this the last time we got below while I take the rooftop. Yep, same as last time. Bold. Yeah, gotcha. Be careful, alright? Just want to play. It's already almost eight minutes in, and I want to play, okay? Movement and camera controls. We. Oh yeah, I'll take that. I need to climb the. I need to climb the ladder. <laughs> climb, Edward Elric. Climb. I'm going to have to cut this into two parts before I can even save. That's the problem about this. It's trying to find save points. Uh, oh well. All right, train hoppers. Time to uh, the board first. First, basic attacks. I got it already. Whoa. It's been a while since I've been playing on the PS2. Punch in the face! Boot to the head! Ah, get back here! I want to boot you in the head! Boot to the head! Fog! Ah, no! Ah, this is for making me miss! Yeah, quite a bit of aimless combat. Whatever.
me to jump down and freight car. Um, I'm probably gonna end this part already. Actually, um, hold on, a freight a freight car, huh? I think on this part just to be safe. I'll start really soon since I don't have a way to stop this since I'm playing on the PS2. Thank you for watching. I'll talk more later. Bye.